Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Mavis, your friendly neighborhood veteran, and we are back to Yuppie Psycho episode two. There we go. Much better. Ryan's office. Right. Where am I supposed to go? How's your work going? I'm adding dirty jokes to the fourth floor's internet message board. Gotta give him something to laugh at. Oh, I met a lobby in the I met a woman in the lobby who just started working there. Well, 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 a new bee. Bee? We call the fourth floor the hive. It's full of busy little bees who work without stopping. Not like us. We're more like shrews. <laughs> <laughs> So, fourth floor. Let's get out of here. So, fourth floor. There's no sixth floor? I'm not even going to joke about going in there. I can't see anything. All right, I need a flashlight. Oh, that's right. Oh, I totally forgot because last time we found out. I am a witch hunter. Is there like... I wish there was a journal entry. Can you tell me more about that witch? We do not have much information regarding her, although there are indications that she has been living within the building for decades, tangibly affecting the company's business development. Because of this, Central Corp devised an eradication plan to begin hiring spe specialized witch hunters. But I'm not a hunter! I, I only just finished basic education a month ago! Don't you think this could be a mistake? The company conducts a rigorous assessment of its candidates before hiring Mr. Pasternak. I can assure you that the margin of error is minimal. But I don't know anything about witches! That is why your first task is to locate Hexenhammer. This treatise on witchcraft will help you achieve your goal. Mm. Do not doubt yourself, Mr. Pasternak. The company has complete confidence in you and will support you however it can. Let me read that email. What floor was I supposed to Ah, oh, okay. Alright, yeah, we read that part. I read that part already. Done a bell. Okay, seventh floor. So we gotta go to the seventh floor. Oh, this is gonna be rough. So, the Sintra AI robot thing said the Hex and Hammer book is somewhere in the library. Getting a book shouldn't be too dangerous, right? I've never had to be afraid of going to the library before. <laughs> According to the sign, this is the door to the archives. I think the book was in the library. So I can't go in there yet. It's over here. The screen reads, anyone seeking to borrow a book from the library will need to present a copy of form R-301 with all relevant data filled in and sealed with the reference code of Central Corp. All documentation can be found in the archives. You got the form R-301. -R I have to fill out the book data, let's see, title, year, of publication, author, and publisher. Well, at least I know the title. Now I need to find the rest of the data in the archives. This is going to be horrific. I'm still carrying around this damn suitcase. 
Oh, you gotta be shitting me. Ugh. It's a photocopier, but it's out of ink. I'll need to replace the ink cartridge before I can use it. Nothing interesting. Yay. It's empty. There's a letter here. It reads, On this topic, I can tell you only the very little that I have discovered. They call them witch papers, and they can be identified by their snake watermark. Rumor holds that they're cursed, but that they still offer several benefits. One of the more common is the ability to photocopy a soul. By photocopying a soul, the spirit is saved. Should you, should you do this before dying, you'll reappear the moment you made the photocopy. Hmm. So when I photocopied my face on witch paper earlier, it saved me? That seems really useful. I got one pencil. There's nothing here. Ugh. So dark. It's empty. There are black marks on the ground. It looks like someone has moved this cabinet. looks like a triangle drawn in blood. Sweet. One ink cartridge. I should save my game before I proceed further, right? We're good. We don't have to start over from the beginning. Dude, this is so creepy. There's a letter here. It reads, Everything is computerized now. Nobody works at the archives anymore. I've not seen the old owl man for years. Since then, this has stopped being a safe place. Nobody believes me, but I have seen something sinister roaming the bookcases. <laughs> Hello? Form R301. Wait, Hexenhammer? She was looking for the same book as me! A 2. Nothing new. Just a note in the author section. A 2. dead. Did that kill her? Wait. Ah, I got it.
Ah, there we go. It looks like some kind of riddle. Maybe it's leading me to another sh bookshelf? I don't want to end up like her. Oh! Okay, that hurt. Huh. It's a copy of the company magazine from 1973. The cover article has a picture of Centra and reads, Centra Corp returns with their new development plan in robotics and computing. I can't even go over to that shelf. He's in blood. Because, uh, of course they are. Another triangle drawn in blood. There's nothing interesting here. to top off here. I'm not going to stumble around in the dark for sure. I have to find out how to restore power to this room. Got it. What's in here? I'm not going to stumble around in the dark for sure. I'll have the fu Get the fuck out of here. super dark down there. I have to go the other way. the music stopped. Fuck. Whew. Oh god. Let's go. <gasps> oh God!
Pastor Nick, move! What? Where is the light switch? It looks like a square drawn in blood. You got one sheet of witch paper. There's something else here. Nice. Good thing about I can look in the filing cabinets. Ooh. Oh, let me save, let me save. <laughs> Better be careful with a cup of water, too. <laughs> Alright, cool. If anything were to happen to us, we'll be fine. We're gonna pull blood. hired me as a witch hunter, but the truth is, what I have, I have no idea what I'm doing. Could you tell me your full name? My name is Brian Pasternak. <laughs> <laughs> Very well, Brian. Nice to meet you. And you? Who, who are you? I'm nobody. Huh. Do you need help? You're, you're bleeding. I would say that you're the one who needs help, workmate. Huh? You're revealing your identity to this first stranger you meet, I'd say you don't have a long life ahead of you. <laughs> I'm a hunter also. I worked as an electrician in the suburbs until I received a red letter. I'm also from the suburbs. Today's my first day. Some advice. Don't trust anyone and never reveal your identity. It's about your life. Don't make the same mistakes that I made. I don't understand. Why are you still here? Why haven't you left the building? <laughs> yes, I'm sure I'll get around to it. Before I do that, is there anything I can help you with? Do you know anything about this book that I need to find? It's called Hexenhammer. Huh? Don't talk to me about that damn book. Huh. I managed to find half the info I needed for the form, but one of those damn mines blew up and set the stupid thing on fire. Damn. I'm sorry. So, do you know where I can find the rest of the data? Did you see the sign at the entrance? It tells you which room each piece of information is in. Do you know anything about those things on the ground which explode? I've been caught out by several of those mines. Do you know if there's any way of deactivating them? You mean, to kill them? They're not machines. More like mutants spawn. Huh? I've seen dead ones. So there must be a way to kill them, but I don't know it. You told me that you were an electrician. Would you know how to turn the lights on upstairs? There's a fuse missing from the fuse box. You can replace it with anything made of metal so long as it fits. Huh. Check the items in your briefcase carefully. You can get a lot of information if you look at them up close. Thank you. Thank you, and I, and I hope that you get well soon. Hmm. I somehow picked the right one. Maybe I'll get lucky if I find something? There's a puzzle down here, too. Maybe you take a photo. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. Mm. 
We must be Rose. <sighs> Let's get out of here before he just start freaking out on us. Oh! Triangle. Square. Oh. Did I not spot a symbol up there earlier? So the first one I found was a triangle. Triangle, triangle, square. Okay, 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 okay. It's Hexen Hammer. All right. All right. What's next on the list of things? So I I could take a look at my stuff in the items. Tin foil from the sandwich. Hey! Nice. Making progress. Oh my god! Ooh. Ooh. I don't. I don't want to. This is nerve-wracking, actually. Someone's locked in? A pencil? It's, it's one of those mind things. Although, this one seems to be dead Hello Um Hi my name is Brian or I mean Pasternak I can't hear you Oh. Mm. Mm. Uh, excuse me, could you? I'm listening, you don't have to shout. Oh, sorry. I, I don't mean to be a nuisance. My name's Pasternak. Mm. Have you heard of a book called Hexenhammer? No. Oh, I, I thought maybe you worked on this floor and you can help me. No. Do you know anything about these mines on the ground? Is there a way to deactivate them? Pencil. Pencil? Yes. Hmm. Do you mean that you use a pencil to kill them or that you need a pencil to tell me how to kill them? I'm not listening to you. I'm watching the movie. Right, okay, thank you. I will try with a pencil. Reach over here. I have to get a little bit closer. Eat it. Hmm. 
It's a tape player. It works with cassette tapes. A. I wonder what will be on this cassette. I think the voice said 1486. That has to be the year of the publication. I'll, I'll write it down on the form. It's a video tailor videotape player. I need a VHS tape. <laughs> that is like really terrifying. I'd, I'd rather not know who it is on the other side. Did I grab a piece of paper? Where'd that paper go? Uh, I gotta go to that other room. My god, this dude got ripped to shreds. Hey, that's what's up. Two pencils. Okay, so... It's a VHS tape titled Video Club Mysterio Chrysalis. This has to be a publishing house. I'm gonna write it down in the form. Someone's gonna turn off the light. I knew it! Huh? You son of a bitch! You motherfucker! knew it. Who was that? Okay, this is a problem now. I think I can make it out of here in the dark without blowing up. Can I get a drops? Ew. Son of a bitch. 
bitch. You fucking cunt. I swear to God, I'm gonna kill you. It was him. It was my own fucking fellow employee that tried to kill me. <clears throat> Let's get downstairs and save. Motherfucker. I can't believe you right now. I can't believe you right now, dude! Why? Just watch. I don't get it. Really? There's a piece of old paper here. Oh, you got an illustration. Okay. At least it doesn't run out of stamina like certain people that we know. Might come over here now. Hey. Got two pencils for my trouble. Hmm? Can't access that. You can't use it here. So what do I use it for? What does he mean by that? Cut their bandages Chrysalis. Quiet. 
I got two pencils for my trouble. Yeah, he's just sitting on top of the desk watching my video. Am I missing something? Hey, how the music mysteriously changes. I'll be right back. I'm gonna use this. All right, I'm back. <laughs> I don't... What do you mean, cut their bandages? Cut their bandages. Chrysalis. Now all I need is the author? But that's going to be really, really hard to find. Who's the author of Hex and Hammer? Most useful. I'm not trying to get blown up. What's this over here? What? Oh. Oh no. Is there any more cardboard boxes around here? Oh no, this is about to get really, really bad if I think I know what this is about to mean. The car. Oh, oh no. What do you mean? What do you mean it doesn't seem particularly useful? It's a duct right there. doesn't seem oh you've got to be kidding me are there any more other cardboard boxes around here I can't believe I got they got me searching around here for some cardboard boxes 
I don't see any others around here. I know I didn't miss any up here. Check in here. So weird. Huh. out by this because it says creating a path but it's a full deal you know, to drop down from the racks seem to understand that, but you had to interact with everything? It will let me reach it. make any sense but I just did being so weird about it. What? But it's not let me. it out now because it's not let me do anything and I have not found a single thing upstairs now I can go get it. That is so dumb. How would I know that? Huh? Ooh.
Well, that's everything. The form is all filled out. I think I can get out of here and see if I can get into the library now. Let's save too. <laughs> uh. You know what's weird right now is that the fact that there's no music playing, it just stopped. Error. After all that, it reads. Central Corp Seal needed. Central Corp Seal? Perhaps I should ask Sintra. I'll go back to my office and talk to her. Hmm. Hmm? Hmm. Oh! <laughs> Hello? There's a new boy who just started. Hadn't you heard? I can tell you whatever you want to know about him. Uh, uh, oh, no. There's no need. Thank you. How oh, delicious, delicious indeed. Have you not brought more lunch boxes? Huh? If he's gone mad, it'd be best to just lock him up and let her take care of that nut. Don't you think? <laughs> A pleasure. My name is Rostov. I work on the fifth floor. Pleased to meet you. Did you hear? Well, I don't know. Hear what? Someone's written obscenities on the canteen whiteboard again. You go, I suppose. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Hello, Mr. Pasternak. Hello. How are you? How are you getting on? What? Well, I I'm getting by. The keyboard and the computers and that. The mouse. Click. Click. Is everything alright? Uh. Yes. Haha. <laughs> hmm. So. Do you already know what your responsibilities are? Management. Notary management of members. Haha. <laughs> Hey, what about Hugo? Hugo? I don't see him at his desk. Do you know where he is? He left a while ago. Why? Why? Huh. Nothing. Forget it. Hey. Huh? Y yes? Has anyone talked to you about... Her? Yes, you already know. Um, I don't? Of the... Huh? Witch. Uh, um, nope. No, that doesn't ring any, bell ring any bells. Huh. Well, you have to be very careful, Pastor Knack. You... You know something about this witch... Inside it, and if it catches you, 
If she catches you, you will become one of her children. What? Well, hello, you two. Am I interrupting something? What are you up to in this hidden corner? Pasternak, do you ready to have the goth club card? Goth club? Sosa loves all those weird things. Horror films, role-playing games, comic books. She even started a geek club called Video Club Mysterio. Careful. She might kidnap you and take you to their secret lair. Ugh. There's only two members. <laughs> oh, you annoyed her. How's tricks, Pastor Neck? I see that you're still working. Are you already adapting to the company? I yes. Well, more or less. Hey. Were you in the archives just now? Pastor Nack, it's my birthday today! Oh, happy birthday! Thanks, workmate! Listen, we're gonna take a break later and have a bit of a party. What do you think? Uh, well, well, see if I'll still be here later. This work is very hard. Ah, oh, come on, man! Cheer up! You have to stay, everyone ends up staying! <laughs> Uh. Ooh, coffee. That's what's up. We're stoked. Huh? Uh. Sentra? What's that voice? Without Sintra, I can't access the information. I beg your pardon? What, what's a swing doing here? It is an application focused on rest and relaxation. Don't you want to try it? Me? Uh, no, no thanks. Maybe later. I, I wanted to talk to you about the book that you wanted me to find. I found all the data and filled in form R301. Excellent, Mr. Pastanek. To be able to access the library, you will need the Central Corp seal that I myself can provide you. The final form is now printing in your office. It will be available to collect once you log out of the Centronet. Thank you. Hey, uh, do you know anything about, um, uh, Children of the Witch? I'm sorry. I have no records of anything named Witch's Children. Why do you ask? Someone warned me about them. Hmm. The Witch has been hiding in this company and spreading corruption for decades. Most of my predictions show that she is likely to have affected every person in this company to some degree, with particularly weak-willed individuals possibly falling completely under her sway. You should be careful, Mr. Pasternak. <laughs> hey, you told me earlier that my job was confidential, that I shouldn't say anything to anyone for my own safety. Correct, Mr. Pasternak. Discretion is one of our company's maxims. Some employees may be in league with the witch. So, there are people here helping out the witch? Correct. It is, it is entirely possible that she could be one of your co-workers. It is advised that you refrain from revealing to the witch that you are hunting her. I see. You already have the form with all the Hex and Hammer data. Use it to enter the library, then find the book. Thank you so much, Sentra. I'll be right back. <laughs> How'd you get over here?
Remember, we remind all new employees that weekly motivational talk with Colonel Dumont will begin at 11 a.m. Your presence is requested in meeting room C. Thank you. Motivational talk? As Centricorp, we believe in a hol holistic approach to employee engagement and take proactive stance towards the empowerment of the social and collaborative qualities of our employees using motivational talks. Huh. You got the form R301. Alright, let's go. You better stay right where the fuck you are, frog boy. Wow, look at this douche. These are photos of the employees of the month. Hugo is in a Hugo is in all of them. Huh. Ooh, I could buy some more stuff. I got so how much money I got? It's a vending machine selling candy bars. Oh, what? A hundred and fifty? What? What? Floor? No, not floor nine. No. Let's do this. Hey, we're in the game. This flashlight sucks. You got one pencil. There's a note which reads, the flashlight is almost out of batteries, but still kind of works. Well, no shit. That's why it's not bright. It's a red book. The pages are blank. I'm like not even in the mood right now. I'm not even. Did I save? I need a better light battery use for this thing. Photocopied soul. That's fine. Hopefully, I can find some more stuff. I'm not even about that right now. Let's get into the library. Why you gotta me? Be out of battery life. This is it's not fair. Wait, the owl creature? You. It's a wooden cart with an elm on it. It's got wheels. I, I can push it easily. Okay. Oh my god, how many hunters has he killed? Nice! That's good, but is there like a meter for this? Who's this? Oh. Red and blue, green and yellow. Huh. Nice. Okay. How many books do I have now? Oh, man. I gotta be careful with this. I got a blue book. 
Okay, so now we know where to go. We gotta take a look at that painting again. Okay, green goes into 12 and yellow goes into 13. Neat. Green. Yellow go green goes into 12. I'm so glad I got like a flashlight. What's that mean though? Oh no! Oh my god. Okay, that's eight. Blue for eight. All right, cool, cool, cool. That's totally not fair, dude. Why are you blocking? <laughs> Wait, did I need to really do? Do I? Did I didn't really do that. What is red blocking? All right, here we go. We're going to bail. It's a letter. It says my friend, I, I would not trust any member of this company. More so now, as it slowly destroys itself, anyone may be one of her children, and there is no way to know. We three are all who can be trusted. Signed, A.M. Oh god, I only got two pencils. note it says with the dagger in the hands of the crow i pray that this nightmare ends now I leave in your hands the report of his progress signed am oh nice can i check the other ones one sheet of witch paper
Okay. It's a letter. It reads, You could not have sent Morris news. We must hide as soon as possible and delete any record of our names. If she discovers our identities, we are lost. Signed, A.M. <laughs> Photocopied soul. Uh, hi. What's this? Okay, cool. Got two batteries. Nice. This, this, the thing is reading a book. It may be. Yes, it's Hexenhammer. Mr. Mummy, if you don't mind, I need to take this book. Please don't wake up. At last, I can take the damn book to Sintra and then get the hell out of here. Huh? Oh. Go, go, go. Awfully quiet. Huh? <laughs> Hello? I cannot let you take the old man's favorite book! Huh? Eee! Oh god! What do I do? Ouch, that hurt a lot. Coffee power! Do I use the bookshelves? Stop pushing the damn carts! Don't you see my little ones will get scared? I know what to do! It worked! Ah! <laughs> oh no! I messed up! Go, go, go! Right behind me! I gotta rearrange all the shelves again! Oh no! Fleet of foot! Fleet of foot! Imagine fleet of foot! Oh shit! I forgot to move the bookshelf! It won't reach all the way over here! Oh! <laughs> Smart cookie! Eat lit! I think it's gone. <laughs> Let's get the fuck out of here. Huh? Eh? Don't kill me. I don't need the flashlight right now. I'll keep it off so I don't waste the batteries. Huh. So, what's in here? So 
So what was in the other room then? Is that what broke out? Oh, it's still locked in there. Good. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Let's get to the next point and save. We got the book. We finally got the book. Rock on. We are so badass. So badass. Fifth floor, here we go. Where'd everybody go? Huh. Here's the book. You used Hexenhammer. Excellent work, Mr. Pasternak. No, no, no more Mr. Pasternak. Is something wrong? Look, Sentra, I've just faced some... I just come face to face with some kind of mechanized man spider that was throwing bombs with eyes at me and there is a mummy in the dark and, 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 and... Well, 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 this isn't for me. I'm not going to fit in here. I thought this was going to be a normal office job. Checking papers, going out for coffee at mid-morning. I understand how you feel, Mr. Pasternak. You know that this is not an easy task and that you have a special responsibility within the company. On behalf of Central Corp, I would like to convey our full confidence in your capabilities. I would also like to inform you that I, personally, see great potential in you. The fact that you've got the book just proves it. Uh, uh. <laughs> Thank you very much. Let me remind you that your efforts are not overlooked at Centrocorp. As a reward for your work, you will receive a bonus of 1,000 credits, which I will transfer to your account. Hey, Who? If you like, let's have a look at the contents of this book. Ah, interesting. Reading completed. Huh? This is a book from the 15th century which was created to identify and hunt witches. As, la la as the language has been changed since then, I will summarize the relevant details. First, where to find a witch. Witches make their lairs in places which have a deep meaning or a bond to their lives. Although their hiding places are often separated from urban centers, thanks to their human appearance, they can infiltrate nearby communities with few issues. Second, how to recognize a witch. Witches are those women who have made a pact with the devil. They transform and manipulate men, steal babies to raise them as their own children, and fly with the aid of a broom. Although they spend most of their existence alone, they usually have several acolytes or followers. Among them are the so-called familiar spirits, companion animals that carry out their orders. Any woman can be a witch, since one of their powers is transmigration, the ability to swap bodies with another. And finally, how to kill a witch. Although fire is the most effective method to eradicate the majority of witches, there are tales of ex exceptionally powerful witches throughout history who have proven to be immune to flames. According to my records, in fact, our witch was burned alive several decades ago. However, her curse has continued to spread throughout the company. According to the book, the only way to put an end to the most powerful witches is to use special ritual dagger called Atheme. Atheme. This weapon of great power can also have a de deterrent effect, warding witches away from the wielder. This all sounds like a fairy tale. What do you mean? Well, everybody knows witches don't exist, and if they really existed, I don't think they'd fly on a broom. They're hardly aerodynamic, and it would be so uncomfortable. I mean, you want me to go question women all over the company and try stabbing them with a knife? I'm pretty sure that would also kill people who aren't witches. It's clear, really clear, that something strange happens in this company, but I doubt very much that the problem will be solved by using a witch hunting guidebook from 500 years ago. Can't you see that doesn't make any sense? Hmm. 
Well, I'm sorry, but I'm not going to put my life on the line of it for this. Again, I'll just go to my office and I'll sit in my, my, sit in my chair. And I won't disturb anyone. You are sitting in your office right now. Huh. <laughs> what was that? There's an event plan. Leave the session as soon as possible. Brian, remember not to reveal your real job to anyone. Uh, wait, did you call me Brian? <laughs> what? You! You! What are you still doing here? Uh, 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 uh. I'm on you! Get your ass to the meeting room! Come on, come on, come on! Come on, come on, come on! What are you? We're the lowest of the low! I doubt it! What are you? We are garbage! <laughs> My horse's ass smells better than you do! You're shit! But what should you be? The best! What? The best of the best! And how are you going to achieve this? With our work! I don't want your dirty work! What else do you have? Our blood! <laughs> Let's see! Mr. Hugo! Come closer! Hugo! What are you? I'm the lowest of- I am the lowest of the low! Well, I didn't know the lowest smelled like sewer! It's because I'm garbage! That describes you better! But what should you be? The best! What? The best of the best! I see. And how do you intend to achieve this? With my work! But you are a bum, Mr. Hugo! What else do you have? With my blood! <laughs> alright, alright, alright. You can go back to your place. Today, I want to talk to you about something very important. A legend that I all, you all know. I want to tell you about the witch. Hmm? The witch is among us, comrades. And she has the form of a woman. I consider myself sexist. <laughs> but it's like that. It's a fact. It could be that lady you chat with about the weather in the elevator. The girl you drink coffee with. Lynn Pins too. Or maybe you send her a fax. In triplicate. But Colonel, everyone knows witches aren't real. Oh yeah? Yeah. Let me tell you something that happened to me a few weeks ago. Dada and I were in the canteen, chatting with friends, having a snack. There were our well-earned 15 minutes of rest. When I realized, Sacre bleu! It was more than half an hour since we came down. We had to get back to our job as soon as possible. We don't get paid for drinking coffee. We all crowded into the elevator and hammered the button to our floor, hoping that the evil machine would move faster. The elevator went up to our floor, to a total pace, and just before the doors opened, Queen Manchon, the elevator was blocked. No matter how hard we pushed it, the doors wouldn't open. I tried in vain to calm us all down. Oh my god, I gotta fucking drink water. Hold on. There we go. That helps. Setbacks are no more. It was only a few matter, only a matter of time before I walked again. But the truth was, I didn't succeed. My desire to get out of there and reach my destination grew exponentially every second. Not just me. I saw Dada suffer from this same exacerbated anguish. Something went up my spine. Sticky lips. A woman's lips. Kissed me on the cheek. And in that very moment. The lights went out. Without light, people exploded into chaos. Everybody started shouting, pushing, shoving, hammering on the doors to get out. And then we heard a sound. Like a razor blade cutting through an eyeball. That sharp sound went through my entire nervous system. At that moment, we all knew that death had come to take us away. That she... The witch was a mongoose. Huh? <laughs> Around me, I began to hear the cries of pain from my companions. 
It was a slaughterhouse. I couldn't believe this was happening to me. Mon dieu, pourquoi? I cried. <laughs> then a miracle happened. The doors opened and let the heavenly light from the floor enter. This caused Dada to awaken from the trance and, like an unconscious spark, he took a great leap out of the elevator and escaped from that nightmare. <laughs> a great sigh of relief came from our lungs. We were safe. But just before the doors closed, covering up that whole massacre, icy lips hissed their way up my spine again, this time to my ears, and they whispered three words to me. Three words I remember all my life. Work. 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 What did she say to me? <laughs> I hope you learn not to loiter in the canteen, or you know what's waiting for you. All right, all right, all right. You lot are looking good today. Now then, I think we have a new recruit. <laughs> yeah, you, you. What's your name, boy? Um, hi. My name is Pasternak. Oh. Kid, you see this horse? Uh. 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 Yeah, sure, yeah, sure. His name is Dada, and he replaces all my vile importance. I don't have to prove anything when I'm on Dada. I am a superior being. I am Shalomon. But you, no. Oh. Down there, you're nobody. If you don't make yourself notice, if you don't stand tall and push out your chest and scream like a man hunting a mammoth, if you don't, look, come closer. <laughs> Drop that beefcase. You don't need to hide behind any shields. Be a man, for God's sake. <laughs> well, well. Your name? Ah, uh, yes. My name is Pasternak. Pasternak. Did you know that your last name is of Jewish European origin? Uh, um, no. It means parsnip. Huh? From this moment on, that will be your new name. <laughs> Boy, you need... I see you need motivation. No, 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 just... I, I'm super motivated. With each failure, you lose 200 credits. What? <laughs> Parsnip, what are you? Oh no, I'm gonna be broke! Yuck, my horse can't stand your stench. But what should you be? Best. What? I didn't hear you right. The best of the best. How do you tend to achieve this? Oh! That's not enough, Parsnip. What else you got? My blood! <laughs> well, well, well. Since you're new, I'll give you a motivational task for your initiation. You, you don't have to, really. It's all right. It's a favor I'm going doing for you. You sure need a little push. What could it be? Let that at you, Colonel. Like in the old days. What a great idea! Let that decide. Huh. Let's see, Dada. Uh, what motivational task can we send Parsnip? <laughs> <Huh>. <laughs> Oh, what a great idea! Is this for real? Sucker bleu! That I have been benevolent and giving you an easy task. Pastor Nack, you have to make a friend in the office. Hmm, but what office? There's a lot of them in the building. Colonel, I thought it must be someone from the fourth floor, from the hive. <laughs> Splendored! In this way, Synergies will be generated between floors. Dada, my friend, you are a genius. Is that clear to you, Porsnip? I have to make a friend in the hive. Perfect. 
And that concludes today's motivational session. Now, get to work. Parsnip. Here, you left your briefcase in the conference room. You got your briefcase. Uh, uh, oh, thank you. I'm still a little out of sorts after everything that just happened. <laughs> it's normal. It's best to play long. You'll get used to it. And I'm glad I did the horse trick. The colonel's mad as a hatter. Who knows what he would have sent to you. Also, human resources are in the hive. Make a friend there, and who knows? They might raise your salary, or they might even change your job. Huh. Well, see you around. <laughs> that kid's right there. Alright, let's go save. This game's not that bad. Alright guys, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Uh, please hit that like and subscribe button. And I will see you all in the next episode of Yuppie Psycho. Ciao.